going on guys? Ian with Hardy Tech and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. Before we get too far into this, I want to talk to you guys really quick because we're going to have some major, major, major changes to this Let's Play. I decided I don't want to be like a giant hypocrite because in the ba past I've like bashed normal Let's Plays because I don't really like watching normal, at least normal Pokemon Let's Plays for the most part. Maybe, probably because I'm like so used to Nuzlocke. So I decided we're going to turn this into a Nuzlocke. Yay! But it's not going to be a normal Nuzlocke because Pokemon Coliseum is a bit of a weird game, as you guys are probably aware. So, I'm going to explain the rules very quickly. For the most part, this is going to be just a very generic Nuzlocke where you, you know, things die, they're dead, you put them in the box, blah, blah, blah. Except for one exception, and that is one of the main rules of a Nuzlocke is you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each area. Well, since Pokemon Coliseum is a bit weird... And the fact that there are only about like 40 encounters throughout the entire game, including post game, I decided the way I'm going to be playing this, and if you don't like it, well, I don't really care, um, is that I'm going to be able to catch all of the shadow Pokemon. So, since there's so few encounters in this game, I'm going to make it so I can, every time I, I'm going to be able to catch all the shadow Pokemon, okay? Um, and, but we're going to be sticking with all the other rules, and if they die, I can't use them, I have to put them in a box, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, it's like a modified Nuzlocke where I can catch all the Shadow Pokemon, and I can't use anybody else. So, yeah, and it is now time to continue on with our story. So, in the last episode, we began our journey. It wasn't yet a Nuzlocke, and today it is, as you can probably tell by looking at the video title where it says Pokemon Nuzlocke on it. And we were introduced to the game blah 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 and today we have to go to the Pokemon to buy some Pokeballs but as we're gonna find out as we go into Pokemart they don't actually sell Pokeballs here and the last time I, I was um when I first got this game again I like replayed it a little bit kind of re-familiar my familiarize myself with it and I was like completely stumped at this part because I couldn't remember what to do I knew like where you go to buy Pokeballs that you have we'll get to that later but I couldn't remember like how to trigger that event which I believe you talked to this guy no one sells Pokeballs around these parts, that's common knowledge. The guy that runs the outskirts stand used to sell them before, but you but you have to keep that a secret. So he just pretty much tells us we have to go to the outskirts stand, and that is the only place in the entire region we can get Pokeballs. And as as you progress in the game, he'll start selling more rare Pokeballs like um, Great Balls and Ultra Balls. I actually, I don't remember if he sells more specialty Pokeballs, or if he just sells the normal Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Um, I guess we'll find out as we play along. But anyways, let's head back to Outskirts Stan so that we can buy ourselves some Pokeballs. Then we'll be heading back to Phoenix City where, as everyone was nice enough to point out, the very first Shadow Pokemon you catch in this game is not the Johto Starters. And it is, in fact, we'll get to that later on. But um, for the Johto Starters, I, in the last episode, I had you guys vote. And you guys ended up voting for... We'll get to that later, too. I'm just going to surprise you guys with everything. Oh, man. Oh, Pokeballs, you say? There's no... There's no call for those things around these parts. Where'd I put them now? So there's no call for them, and yet you still have them. Oh, yeah, here they are. A little dusty, I'm afraid, but they're always perfectly usable. Now, I would have really loved if, like, for the animation for the Pokeballs, they would have, like, added a little dust to the Pokeballs. I think that would have just been, like, amazing, but... Eh, whatever. Are you wanting to buy? Yes, I'll buy some Pokeballs. I don't... I wasn't paying attention. Did he give us five Pokeballs? Um, I'm gonna check my inventory really quick. Because I wasn't... I was, like, distracted looking at my computer. Did he give us... Okay, he gave us five Pokeballs. I believe I'll probably buy some Great Balls, because from what I remember, the starters are a little hard to catch, so some Great Balls probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have. So let's get maybe five... Uh, let's get ten Great Balls. And we will spend the rest on the potions that he doesn't sell. So that's cool. Alright, I guess... I think we can get potions back in Phoenix City, so we'll just buy some there. And then I don't remember where we... Actually, no, I do remember what to do now. Oh, I'm so smart, guys. I remember how to play this game. I played, um, I replayed this all the way up until Mir B, which, for the record, has the greatest boss music in all of Pokemon. Um, I'm so excited to get to that part. We probably won't get to that part for some time, but it's going to be amazing. Um, oh, it's you two. Something terrible happened. A whole lot of scary men came here. I think I even saw those two creeps who took you off in the truck earlier. Okay, that's cool. You are absolutely no use to us at all. Just sitting there, being not... You could, you could actually try doing something. You'll go to the police. But instead, no. Let's just tell the two passerby strangers who don't even want to be here in the first place. Give me your potions! Yeah. Okay, so this guy actually has potions. So let's just blow the rest of our money on potions because that's what smart people do. And um, just for the heck of it, because this is a Nuzlocke, it's always smart to have antidotes. You know, I wish we could... Oh my god, we could have bought super potions and I wasn't paying attention. 
I was going to say, I wish we could have got super potions, because we're already kind of level 30. And we could have got super potions, and I wasn't paying attention, because I'm so good at Pokemon. You wish you were this good at Pokemon, I could tell. Just looking at Mew, you looking at me, me looking at you, we all wish we were this good. Anyways, I believe we're going to have our first Shadow Pokemon encounter here. Oh my god, there he is, speaking of Mirror B. Oh man, you're going to hear his music. I didn't think we are going to hear it until the boss battle, but you're going to hear his music in a second. Oh, I might even like turn the volume up just so you can listen to it, because it's so amazing. Anyways, Master Mirror B, it, it's him. He's the one that took the girl from us. Look at that face, that is just pure evil. Oh, now aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Hardy or something? I... I so don't like saying this, but we're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. That sweet young thing, she can't see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That's just, we'll not do it for what we're planning to do. No, it won't do at all. If you don't like pain, like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it needn't be. Oh my god, here we go. Boys, oh boys. Yes, 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 yes we will. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my god. Boys, I will now make my return to pie right now. Do you remember I would be waiting for you to return with this little lady? Why doesn't he just take the lady? Uh, take Lisa. I don't care. Just take her. I don't want her. Am I making myself clear? I won't accept failure from you again, boys. Here we go. <gasps> Hit the music shit. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this moment. Here we go, guys. Da da. Da da. Da 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 Oh my god, when you get to the boss battle and you literally just get to listen to that for like 10 minutes, it is the most amazing thing, I'm telling you. I love it. Ah, oh, that's gonna be a great episode. You, 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 the last time you caught me off guard, that's not gonna happen again. So I believe this, I don't remember if it's Foley or if it's the second guy that's gonna have our first Shadow Pokemon. Uh, but we will find out and we will hopefully catch it. I don't think it's that hard to catch it. I remember, I always think I was relatively successful on catching this first Pokemon, so by the end of this video, we should have two um, brand new Pokemon, which will lead the party to four. I don't know if we'll reach Pyrite Town in this episode or not. I guess that shall remain a mystery until it actually happens, but either way, um, let's split up our damage between the two. This is like, one good thing about Coliseum, I guess the one bad thing is, it, for the most part, it's probably not that hard to Nuzlocke, because the game, it starts off really easy, and but at the same time, it's probably really hard in Nuzlocke. One, because of like, this such small variety of Pokemon you can get. And it can get difficult like really fast. You know, the Shadow Pokemon can be really strong. And the fact that you, your Shadow Pokemon don't gain any XP until they um, are purified. It's, it can make this a rather difficult experience. So hopefully we won't have that much trouble. Anyways, one more turn. And these Pokemon will be finished off. And that's going to be a good battle for Foley. Unless he... I wasn't paying attention. Does he have a third Pokemon? Because if he does, that's probably our Shadow Pokemon. If not, then the other guy has it. Let's find out. Is he going to send out something else? He is not. Okay, the other guy has our Shadow Pokemon. Yay! We had to face Foley for absolutely nothing. We got like 200 experience from him because that's totally so much for beating a Lotad. I don't even like beating Lotads. Lotads are awesome. They just got like these derpy little mustaches and I just want to love them. I, I would honestly, like, love to have a Lombre. Like, if Pokemon are real, I'd love to have, just have, like, a Lombre. Because he seems like a chill guy, you know? I, I would like a Lombre. We should work on that. Making a real-life Lombre. My turn now. I'm not going to end up like Foley. Okay, guys, here we go. Our first Shadow Pokemon encounter. How's it going to go? We'll find out. Are we going to catch it? Is he going to send it out, or does he have... Okay, he does not start off with a starter Pokemon, so I hate for the spoilers, but whatever. The good news is, we have a move that's super effective against both these Pokemon, so hopefully we can one-shot them both. I don't know if we'll actually one-shot Dusclops, because Umbreon isn't, like, the most... Umbreon's a lot more bulky, um, so... Eh, we'll find out either way. I know we'll be able to kill the Spinarak, I'm just... I'm not worried about the Dusclops, because I know it probably can't do anything to us. Maybe a little bit of damage to Espeon, but... Overall, it's it's like okay, that's cool. You got a you got a Pokemon. What else? And um, is he gonna send it out? Here we go, guys. Our first Shadow Pokemon is Makuhita. And Lisa's all like, oh my god, the thing's purple. What the heck, Hardy? It, it's that one, that Pokemon. I saw that Pokemon. I can see a black aura coming from it. They must have done something to that Pokemon. Oh, oh, what the heck, dude? Not cool. Hardy, be careful! This Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people! I know, Hardy. I hate to say this, but there's no other choice. Get that Pokemon back for those bad guys! Please, you have to! 
You can! Actually, only you can do it! That's because I'm a thief and I stole the two from those guys. Because do I look like I can't? Man, I ain't got time for that. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. So we don't want shot the dust goal. Uh, all right. What's the best way to go about this? Because dust goal is super effective against Espeon. Let's bite Makuhita and, well, confusion dust goal. Because I know bite won't kill it. And I think confusion should be able to take out dust goal. Does ghost resist psychic? No, ghost is neutral. Or psychic is neutral to ghost. Ghost is super effective against psychic because... I try not to question Poke Logic. You guys should know that by now. And Bite, I think we'll probably do like a quarter to Makahita. It's not going to do very much. Uh, oh, okay. That did nothing. I think a Bite and a Return, and we'll probably get Maki. Oh, oh my god. Don't you don't do that on number round. Please don't do that on... Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we'll use a Bite, and we'll use... Ooh, Reflect. Yes. Okay, that'll be awesome, because I'm really scared at Cross Drop on Umbreon. See guys, this is like the first time I'm ever using a supportive move in Pokemon, and I feel kind of good about it right now. I feel, I feel smart. So, I still think a return and a bite will probably be good, because I don't think Espeon's physical attack is very good. It's really a special attacker. Uh, what? Umbreon! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The first... <laughs> what the heck? Was that a crit? I didn't see. Oh my god. What? You gotta be joking, right? 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 What? <laughs> what? Espeon! What the heck just happened? Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. I don't even know where I am right now. Why am I in this girl's bedroom? What just happened? Oh my god, I just lost. <laughs> it sounded like there's a lot of people gathering in the suite downstairs. If they're going to have a party, I want to be invited too, sweetie. Is this your house or, or what? Oh, okay, we're in the mayor's house. Okay. That... What the, what the heck just happened? I'm so sad. Well, I... Um... I guess... We'll try that again in the next episode. I'm not gonna end it here, no way. Well, in the next episode, um... <laughs> what the heck? I just lost the first battle with my Nuzlocke. Oh, that has to be some kind of record. Actually, that was the second battle, but... Um... Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, Hardy for Nuzlocke King, I guess. You know what? No, well, okay. Let's try this just one more time. Um, I know normally I should lose, but I mean, come on. This is, we can't end it here, okay? It's been like 10 minutes into this Nuzlocke and I already lost. There's, no. I'm almost positive that, how could it? My God, that did so much damage. That's ridiculous. I mean... What was I supposed to do besides just die? I, I couldn't do anything <laughs> except be so, so sad. Um, <laughs> I guess this time we'll just team up on one Pokemon. That way we'll only take... Uh, oh, or we can just one-shot Wizmer. That works too. Wow, seriously? I How can I be that bad at this game? I just... Man. Um... Anyways, that's how you completely fail at Pokemon and you accidentally kill everything that you once thought that you loved. So, uh, if we lose again? <laughs> I don't know what we'll do if we lose again. I might just say like, okay, well so much for Nuzlocke, we'll just go back to normal Let's Play. I'm so pathetic. Okay, my turn now. I'm not going to end up like Foley. That's probably like the first time anyone's ever lost that battle. That's really pathetic. Um, maybe I should just like throw a great ball right when it comes out. Maybe then I won't be so bad at this game. Uh, I'm so sad. It had to be a crit on that Numbreon. I would have thought that. Um, I don't. Oh, I don't know. Cross chop is like a really powerful move. Isn't cross chop like 90 base power or something? I don't know. But. I just, my god, Makuhita, the Espeon and Umbreon duo should be able to just pwn Makuhita. Okay, you know what? 
I kind of want to risk confusioning it, because I want to think that it could live it, because it is like four levels higher than Embryon, or Uspion, Espion. But I don't... My god, how could that have gone so badly? Yeah, we already saw this part, so we get it. It's a Shadow Pokemon, it's going to attack me, blah blah blah. This all seems really familiar. And let's bite the... What are we facing in? Duskull. Who is not going to die. Okay, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try... Uh, I don't know, maybe I should just throw a ball. Just, it hits so hard. Okay, you know what? We're going to try Confusion. I don't think we'll kill it. I think it'll live it. I think it can live. I really believe. Come on, live, 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 live. Fah! Okay, so much for that. They what choice did I have? I mean, really. Man, I wanted that Makahita too, because I always use Makahita when I play Coliseum, and it's a really, really good Pokemon for this game. I just, I have the worst luck. Anyways, we beat whatever his name is now, so whoop de frickin' do. We didn't catch Makahita. And we already technically lost this Nuzlocke. Um, wow. Darn it, but you're good. You knocked out my Pokemon. Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed. Oh, man, what are we supposed to do? We got flat to the cat. Beer Pea's gonna chew us out. What do we do? What is there to do? Run away. Okay, well, um, now that that... Oh, it's so disappointing that we couldn't snag that Pokemon off them, but I'm sure that there are others like it. Let's go get them all back from these bad guys. Yes, let's do that. We're going to do that by going and trying to catch our second Pokemon now, which this guy gives off Bayleaf. We're not going to go to him. I believe the guy down north gives off Crocodon. That's a long ways away, so I can't be bothered walking down there. But this guy gives you our next Shadow Pokemon. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not going to let you pass. Or do you have this idea that you can take me to battle? Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> Who's going to beat me? You are. Don't be crying out regret later. I will, sir. I will be crying myself to sleep after I likely kill this cool lava as well. Mystery Troop Russo wants to battle us. That is A-OK. -okay. He's got a cool lava and a Grimer. Kuava is going to be our next Shadow Pokemon who hopefully doesn't also um, die. Like freaking Makahita and Umbreon and Espeon. And I was like expecting like, oh, I was just bragging about how easy this game is and then I mess it up. Oh, Hardy, there's a Pokemon with a black aura. Yeah, we're going to catch it. We know the drill. Look how happy Kuava looks. Like, look at his... And look how, like, squished up, like, Grimer looks. This is a very mixed signal right now, so... Uh, the good news, I guess, coming out of this is after Grimer dies, Espeon will be leveling up, so... Yay! I guess that's something positive to see out of this. You know, out of, like, everyone freaking dying. <laughs> oh, he's got more than one Pokemon. Oh, he has a Splunk. Oh, isn't that cute? I hope it falls over and dies. Okay, it's got Flame Wheel. Um, that's... Okay, that good news is that isn't doing too much, because Umbreon is super bulky, and most of the time Umbreon can take hits. Most of the time. Uh, Umbreon doesn't deal out damage very well, though, which is the bad news, so... Um, let's switch roles this time, and let's go for Return, because I'm kind of worried about Confusion. Last time I thought a Pokemon could have Confusion, it died. In hindsight, I really... Wow, that did nothing. In hindsight, I should have used... Oh, interesting. I really should have used, um return on Makahita. I didn't think that through, but I obviously made a mistake, and I didn't mean to do it, but, you know, that's life. Anyways, since he's using Dig, we might as well set up Reflect since we can't hit the Kuava anyways, and he's going to be using Dig on us, so we'll my, we can, like, minimize the damage that we take, so happy face. Using Dig, who's he using it on? There's the question. Wow, even, okay, that was a crit. I was going to say, that did a lot, but it was a crit, so it's all good. And I believe after we use a bite and a return, we could probably catch Kolaba. So, let's, um, yeah. Let's, like, cross our fingers. Let's bite, and we will return. Hopefully, oh yeah, Kolaba's definitely going to I think even if we get a crit, it won't do that much. Oh! Or just, like, completely ignore me. Umbreon, don't kill it. Umbreon, don't kill it. Umbreon, do not kill it. Umbreon, seriously? No, Umbreon, don't, Umbreon, 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 what the heck, Umbreon, no, I said don't kill it, I specifically said don't, ah, why, why is this happening, <laughs> uh, I'm so good at Pokemon, 
What? What was that strange Pokemon? What did you people do to it? That. It's a Pokemon we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. What? No, you didn't! You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? Huh. <laughs> knowing that you're not going- Knowing that's not going to help you do anything. Run away! Oh, I didn't know he was a Rattata. I know! When I was little, I heard about that. They said if a Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling together with it. Hardy, let's go. There's probably a ghost. Probably headed for Pirate Town. After all, it was Pirate that they captured me. Well... I think that's gonna wrap it up today, guys, because I'm like, extremely disappointed with how this went. I have, I, I have very bad hopes for the way this Let's Play is gonna go now. But that is part two of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Until next time, thank you for watching. How about 287 likes for part two and killing everything? Literally, like every Pokemon that was featured in this video died. Think about that. Yeah. Until next time, guys. I'm Hardy Tech Yo Yo.